Houston, Texas. All right, follow me. I'm actually going to pick up my badges and then we'll see what's up. All right, it's GoPro. I just got to Comic Palooza 2015. And I gotta say, you know what? Uh, I guess what I wasn't feeling in the hallway, I'm definitely feeling in here. There's like a, a little bit of a vibe, so it's pretty cool, man. Oh, shit. Oh, Bunch of great My Little Pony stuff, like some awesome blankets, posters, all the good stuff. I want to snag them over. But so, is there a really big uh, pony for My Little Pony? Oh, yeah. Uh, long story short, about four years ago, they remade My Little Pony. See, like Hasbro sitting on a dump truck of money from Transformers. Sure. They want to bring back all their old properties, like Gems, actually, so it's about to get a movie. Uh, well, they, uh, they were doing My Little Pony, and they gave it to Lauren Faust. Lauren Faust was the art director for Powerpuff Girls and the creator of uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Kids. Nice. So this woman is amazing. That's three different kids that were meant for, uh, well, actually, everything she touched was just gold. And she brought in some of the best people in the industry. Daniel Ingram, uh, award winning. Uh, Tara Strong, uh, uh, Ashley Ball, like, uh, tons of great voice actors. Like, I, I, I just don't even want to name them all. Like, Every, the best people in the industry, and they made a fantastic show. It was meant for little girls, but it has such a wide appeal. Sure. Um, we've watched it at parties at sports bars. Really? I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, so... The season finale had a, uh, a fight scene on par with people liking it to Dragon Ball Z. Does this, like, it was amazing. Does this fan following for My Little Pony, the new, the new generation, do they have, like, a specific... Um, like, let's say on the social media, is there a hashtag that they follow, or is there... Actually, we are called bronies. Bros bronies. who like ponies. I, you know, what? Now that you've seen it, right? it, I have. I, I think I saw it. Look at this dude. Is he like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what I'm really noticing is that these cosplayers are, are one of the bigger. Let's say this is high school, right? And you got your cliques. Um, everybody's, you know, you got the jocks with the jocks, etc., etc. Well, cosplayers are the jocks, I think, and they're like kind of running this shit. They're walking around like they own the place. It's pretty cool. I mean. See what I mean? Yeah. 
There you go. It's like there's like a there's the jocks. I'm telling you, there's the jocks here at this Comic Con. It's so cool. Palooza. I'm with Aria and Mary Doll. You probably already knew that. What's going on, ladies? Hi. We're just hanging Hang out. out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the obvious questions. I'm going to do the obvious ones, and then I'll try to do some that I'm going to come off the top of my head. But, like, what got you into cosplay? Um, I got into cosplay whenever I saw my first anime, which was Fooly Cooly. Nice. And yes. I got obsessed with it. So I, I was like, why is there only six episodes? Yeah. So I, I go on the internet trying to search for more, and that's when I came across like all these amazing Japanese cosplayers. Yeah. And I fell in love with the whole concept, and I was like, I need to do that. And it kind of just snowballed from there. Wow, yeah. cool. Kuri kuri. Yeah, very cool. Kuri kuri. Um, I used to attend a local convention in Galveston for uh, several years, and I saw this huge group from a show that I fell in love with, Gurren Logan. And the only character they were missing was Ania, who happened to be my favorite character. And after seeing them and like totally fangirling over their cosplays, I decided that by next year I would have a Nia outfit completed. And that was how I did my first cosplay ever. And they even invited me to be in their group with them next year, which was like really? a dream come true. Yes, oh, that's great. Cool. Nice. Very um, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Marie X Doll. And you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as Ariath. Very cool. All right. All right, you heard that. This is GoFro. I'm still here at Comic uh, Comic Palooza. So uh, let's see what else we can get into. All right, this is GoFro. I'm here with Spencer Doe as Spawn here at Comic Palooza. All right, man, what's going on? Not much. Just uh, moseying around, walking, trying to get away from my booth for a while. Walk around just behind the, the convention, get to see it finally. Yeah, man. I really digging this spot, man. That's super cool, man. You even got the James' thing out. Yeah, the little, little wire rig just to tear your rig data, just to make it look more alive. Cool, man. It's a nice medium, man. Like Where's your booth at? Oh, really? Right next to the aisle 17. Oh, really? Yeah, right next to the aisle 17. 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 Yeah, right next to all right, this is Gofo at Comic Palooza, and of course, this man needs no introduction. I'm here, Mr. Henry Winkler. Oh my gosh, I Jeez. like him so much. Jeez Louise, God. Okay, how are you? I'm fine. I'm amazing. How are you doing? So let me just say, yeah. I hope that everybody that is watching has the most wonderful life. You know what? If you know what you want, you can have your dream. Wow. Thank you very much. You're still at Comic Palooza. Ran into another amazing, famous, familiar face. That's Mr. Larry Thomas. How are you doing, Thank sir? Thank you. How are you doing? Good. And what brings you here to Comic Palooza? Oh, just, uh, you know, the, the convention circuit. Just got all my stuff, my new book, uh, sure. Confessions of a Soup Nazi and Adventure in Acting and Cooking. And nice. Trying to get it out there. Amazing, amazing, great. Uh, I mean, of course, sir, I mean, you're, you're a man who needs no introduction. We all hold you in our hearts as the Soup Nazi. Uh, what other uh, projects uh, do you know hold near and dear to your heart? Oh, um, I guess, you know, a lot of things. I toured for about three years with Barbara Eden and some people and the female version of The Odd Couple. And uh, that's like some of the most fun I ever had in my career. Nice. And, uh, uh, what, an indie film I did a couple of years ago that I really love, it's called Redemption for Robbing the Dead. And um, you could get that on like Amazon or Netflix. And uh, it's, a, it's a project I liked a lot. Amazing. I'll look, I'll look that up. Would you like to plug any of your social medias? Um, well, my website is realsoupnazi.com, R-E-A-L-S-O-U-P-N-A-Z-I.com. And uh, my Twitter is realsoupnazi. So, right. yeah. Quick intro. Yeah. All right, this is Gerard, aka GoFro. I'm still here at Comic Palooza, and I'm standing here next to a man who needs no introduction, but I'm gonna do it anyways. That's I'm it. Barry Boss. Oh, he did it. How you doing, Mr. Boss? I'm, you know, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. Thank you very much. The charisma, the charisma. Can I look? Is just can, I look can I look like you? Of 
course you when could. When I grow up? Yes. No, yeah. I'd have to take your name, though. Oh, well, darn, we have to talk about my, we have to talk to our board about that, the, the trustees. Go, Bo, <laughs> go, Bo, Bostwick, Bo. Go, go, Bo. Go, Bo. Go, Bo sounds good. Okay, we'll be partners. I wouldn't mind. 50-50, here it is. Everybody, go, Bo and go, Fro. <laughs> <laughs> what brings you to Comic Palooza? Uh, it's our 40th anniversary of Rocky Horror Picture Show. And uh, I got a whole bunch of other stuff I'm pushing. I got four or five films coming out this year. Nice. And um, uh, so, and just to meet the fans, you know, of and, and to make a little money. Yeah. And uh, to meet the fans. Definitely. And to make a little money. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's I think that's what everybody's here for. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. That's great. So you have such a, a big picture. Everybody knows you from Rocket Horror Picture Show. I mean, yeah. what is it? Uh, I, I mean, other than that, what, what other character, what other uh, role, what other project was most passionate to you? Probably the ones that I, people know me from. Sure. Uh, each generation different. I, I, I was George Washington in a miniseries in the early 80s, uh, in a 10-hour miniseries on CBS, which a lot of people know me from of that generation mm -hmm. who would have watched that or were forced to, to watch it in <laughs> grammar school and write papers on it. Uh, Spin City with Mike Fox. I did a oh, series yeah. for six years with him. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, currently I was on a couple episodes of Scandal and, and I raped the president's wife. So, oh, yeah. you know, that's always good for My people. wife was very mad about that. Oh, uh, was she? <laughs> Yeah, well, get her over here. <laughs> I got a little of that left in me. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Mr. Potswick, thank you very much. I don't want to take up any more of your time. You, always a pleasure. Well, always, always a pleasure. <laughs> go, Bo. Go, Bo. Go, Bo, and go for weird because I know, I you know, kind of dominate this possible, huh? Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, I think so. I think definitely. I think it's harder for guys. To, a lot of guy costumes require, like, armor and stuff like that. It takes a little longer to bring them out and get them together. Plus, you can play with both sexes, both genders, if I'm not mistaken, whereas a guy is not going to come out I've seen somebody do a gender bend on a Poison Ivy, Poison Ivy, and it was awesome. Oh, Poison Ivy, that's actually cool. Who was that, you know? I can't remember. I saw it online. Uh, somebody shared it. It was awesome. I'm sure it'd be good for you. What else can we expect from you for the next three days? Um, I'm doing Steve Park Parley tomorrow. Okay. Mara Sunday and Kate Parley on Tuesday. Monday. Very cool. All right. Hey, I appreciate you taking time. I know you're pretty busy. All right. Hey, this is GoFro. What's going on? It's GoFro still here at Comic Palooza. Uh, I wanted to show you guys something. Check this out. Look at the lion for Stan Lee, man. It's like wrapped all the way that way. Isn't that crazy?